glioblastoma is the most common and aggressive form of primary brain tumors, and it makes up more than 50% of all primary brain tumors. The median survival is very poor for all these patients, and it's less than one year. Previous researchers have found that obese and diabetic glioblastoma patients have poor survival as compared to their normal weight and non-diabetic counterparts. This has been thought to be driven by the insulin signaling pathway, and this is why we've looked at it. Glioblastoma in particular is the most deadly adult brain tumors. Environment is, is thought potentially to play a role. Metabolism plays a huge role, and that's really the focus of of Kawai's study. The idea is that these, these tumors uh, are using insulin signaling pathways very differently than healthy tissue do. And while they've been, this pathway has been looked at in prior drug studies, there have been drugs that have been developed, they've really been targeting the wrong molecules or the wrong uh, interactions of molecules. And so this project looks at uncovering a particular pathway, which is a novel one, and we use mathematical modeling to show how, by blocking this pathway, you can significantly decrease glioma growth, uh, where prior studies um, have focused on different aspects of the same pathway. Through my work at Rice University, I've been able to promote my research at different conferences focused on insulin signaling and glioblastoma. At a recent conference, there was a person who came up to me at the end of my poster session, and then he really wanted to know more about insulin signaling and glioblastoma. This was because his father actually is a glioblastoma patient. Unfortunately, I was not able to tell him the best cure we have available right now, as there is no cure. However, I was able to give him a glimpse of hope to point him to that insulin signaling and this part of the pathway was the one that is really driving the growth of glioblastoma. So this, is, this opens a new avenue where future therapies can look into this direction for more cures for glioblastoma.